well, we want to welcome you back. And we're going to be doing a salad bread bowl. Mm. So we're going to go to the ingredients on this one. Okay. It calls for one teaspoon of dry yeast, quick rise, and one half cup of water, lukewarm, one tablespoon of olive oil, one half teaspoon of honey, one cup of whole wheat flour, one fourth cup of unbleached flour with germ, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, one fourth teaspoon of onion powder, and two cups of spring salad mix, and your favorite salad dressing. Well, we are mm. busy working right here in this part of trying to get this dough ready so you can see okay. how we do it. Curtis is rolling out his dough and I'm rolling out mine. And all we're doing is making it large enough to go over top of a bowl. And you're making one salad and I'm making one. I need some flour on my roller. Uh-huh. Rolling pan. I hope, baby, you want to like make it large enough to go over top of a bowl. Uh, okay. You know, this is going to be a bowl that you can put in the oven. We want to have our, pre our oven preheated at 300, uh, I'm sorry, 475 degrees also. Okay. And at this point, how's yours looking? I don't know. Uh, you don't want it should to be a little bit bigger or what? Yeah, it's got to be bigger because I got to go, go over that bowl. Okay. Okay. Salad bowl. Now this is a one. This can be a one meal. This is a one dish. meal. Yep. Yeah. And they're going to see that. Uh, let me just tell you right away that what happened was we took that uh, flour. We had the unbleached flour and the whole wheat flour. Uh, we put that together. We had our water with the uh, yeast and uh, water and honey and our onion and garlic powder. We put all that together and made a ball out of it. And we actually put it over there on the side, let it sit for about five minutes. And I'm going to show you this now because yours is just about ready, Curtis. Okay. You know, you need to have a baking custard type. Uh, a bowl that you can put in the oven. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take a little bit of the olive oil because you need something in your hand to be able to work with this. Just a little bit of olive oil and you're going to actually use the olive oil and curse you might want to go ahead okay, and start now, that. You're going to actually oil. put the olive oil on the bowl. On the bowl in my hand. On your hand and then put it on the bowl. Okay. Okay. And we're going to get the bowl nice and oiled because we got to get that, that crust off of it or that salad bowl off of it when we get done. And then all we're going to do is uh, we have that pan over there, and you can bring that pan here, Curtis, and put it right there in the middle of us so okay. they can see what's going on here. And I usually sit my bowl. I'm going to sit mine here. Let's do it sideways so we can make a good chance to see both of them, okay? Okay. We're going to sit it down, and we're going to pick up that dough, and we're going to lay it across the bowl. Okay. And we're going to pull it around the sides. Make sure... Let's see if you can get that. Hopefully it don't stick. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pull it around the sides of our bowl. And it's going to be some real good fixing that's going to go inside of this. Hmm. And usually what I do, Curtis, I push this up so we make kind of a decoration around the edge of it. You want to make sure it's secure around the bowl. Okay. Remember now it has yeast in it. So you want to make sure that there's no loose ends on it. How about that? That looks good, Curtis. Okay. Now sometimes I much. just do little scallops. Around scallop. the edge What's by just scallop? taking, oh, that's putting a your hand in there, oh, I know what and the making a little that. decoration in the middle. You call this a scallop, huh? Yeah. Okay. And then what's going to happen is it's going to go in the oven uh, and bake, and we bake it for uh, about okay. about five minutes at 475 degrees, okay. and then when it's finished, you're going to see what the product looks like. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our break because when we come back, mm. you will see the finished product. So stay by. We want to welcome you back. Okay. And we've made our salad bowls. We actually cooked it in the oven at 475 degrees okay. for about five minutes. It got mm -hmm. brown on the outside. We want to bring it out and cool it off. And then it comes right out of that custard mm -hmm. dish real easily. Okay. And then what we've done is we've added in our spring salad. Spring salad. Now, what all, we have all the we've veggies got, or what? We've got uh, salad vegetables in there with the uh, uh, bitters and, and, and um, red, green, red, green peppers. Red radishes are in there, um, cabbage and, and all kind of stuff. We got tomatoes. Now, and now honey, I, I see some chicken here. Now, of course, this now, is a vegetarian yes, program, 3ABN, yeah. so what's with the chicken? What? Well, this is not chicken at all, believe it or not. This is just actually tofu. No, so okay. I might have known. So okay. you know it's tofu. This is tofu. So it's okay. just tofu. And also, of course, I said I had a surprise for Curtis and I didn't want him to know what it was. Because this salad is really not the, complete. The reason why I didn't finish it really is because of the special thing I have in here on, under my dish, which which I really didn't want him to see at all. Oh, the and, olives. Uh, now, now we have a salad. If I had have shown him these, they would never have been on the end of the show. So okay. we. Uh, well, let me help you. We're going to put some olives on this salad as well. You can put a couple of olives on, Curtis. Why, why don't you just give me the can and you take this? No, I don't have the can with me. What happened to the can? I got. I destroyed it. Destroyed it? Uh-huh. Oh, why okay. do you do that? Okay. You know, this you know, would probably look better with black olives too, huh? It probably would. Yeah. Do you have some black ones too? No, I don't. 
uh, go ahead and finish put those on there. Okay. And the rest of these are mine. No, you want to put them on the salad so they can see how it looks. And you could do I mean, the uh, black saying. olives. You can do also the green olives as well to give a little bit more aesthetics to the salad itself. Now you okay. have one more olive than I have, so we'll take this over here. Now you know it's very, very funny because guess what? Uh, not too long ago, some friends of ours came to visit with us, and they were uh, out in California, and they came by, and right. you're not going to believe this. They brought us a case of green olives, a case, okay, a whole case, and it, mainly because they said they were thinking about Curtis and how much he loves olives, and you, you all know how much Curtis loves olives. Everywhere we go, people, we have cooking That's classes. Right. People bring Curtis a can of olives as a gift, and we use them in the class. Okay, we sure do. We don't want him to eat the whole thing on his own. Now, on top of this, also we've also added uh, any kind of favorite favorite salad dressing you might have. We have quite a few of them in our books as well that you will drizzle then on top of your salad. Now what, what's this you have this here This is just, now? A just one of my favorite dressings that I actually use on this one and it's going to be drizzled on top. Just drizzle. And you want to remember that you can actually eat the entire thing, the whole salad. So now you can eat the salad and also the container of the the we dough eat, too. That's right. Eat the dough and the crust everything. and everything. Yep. How about putting a couple okay. spoons on yours? Now you want me to just drizzle or just yes, pour? Yes. Go ahead and drizzle some across drizzle. there. Okay. All right. And all not, right. not all of it. And you can. And it's going to soak down. But because of the fact that we had that bread bowl, it's got that. It's not going to soak through the bread, by the way. Okay. Because it's so, pretty thick, isn't yep. it? Yep. Now, uh, I know that because we're coming toward the end of this program, now, that you're gonna, I know what you're gonna do, you're gonna ask me a question. So you know what, I already got him taken care of, okay? And that is, I made him his own little salad bowl that we can go out of the show Okay, now, okay wait a minute. We, okay, we got a problem because this one is smaller. It's smaller because we're going out on the show and I don't want them to actually, we don't want to destroy the big ones yet, okay? So this is, this is mine. That's ours. Ours, okay. okay. All right, well, you so know. Now, uh, we want to make sure that you stay by because there's a part two to this program, and so you don't want to, you know, uh, want to tell your friends and them to tune back in again. Remember, next week is going to be Alzheimer's disease part two. We're going yes. to talk about uh, herbal medicine and things that we can really reverse Alzheimer's disease. It's going to be very uh, powerful. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as always, Jesus said, John 10, 10, I come, that they might have life and have, have it more abundantly. abundantly.